Hey guys, I just wanted to share a recent financial tip that I came across that has been super beneficial for me and I think might be valuable for other people as well. Recently, I was talking with one of my friends and she said, hey, I just opened a high yield savings account that's paying two and a half percent or something around there. And instantly I was skeptical, like savings accounts don't pay two and a half percent these days. How are you doing that? Like I know my personal savings account, it's earning interest of 0.01% and actually charging me a $5 monthly fee in that savings account as well. So like, what's your magic trick here? She was explaining that the bank that she has the savings account through is solely online. They don't have any physical bank branch locations because they're not needing to pay for those branches to be open. They're able to offer a higher yield on their savings accounts as a result. With that information, I decided to do a little bit more research of my own online and came across this great tool on nerdwallet.com that basically just compares the best high yield savings accounts right now in their personal opinion. What I really liked about NerdWallet is the way that they organize and format the different high yield savings accounts is almost like Amazon. Each high yield savings account they have listed, they give a, uh, a five star rating or you know how many stars out of five stars. They then give you more information on here's the pros and cons of each one of these, here's what they're currently paying in interest, other details you need to know, and then also a link to the actual website where you can sign up for that savings account as well. Going through that, I ended up settling on Discover's high yield savings account, and here's why. I already have a Discover credit card that I use as one of my primary cards, which I also found on NerdWallet. So I already have the Discover credit card, and have the mobile app on my phone. It's super easy to use. I really like how easy it makes it just to check my balance, make payments, all of that. So I figured it would be super easy just to add my savings account on there and be able to see both accounts side by side and make transfers easily between the two. I believe Discover does have one physical branch location like somewhere in Delaware, but they had a great rating for customer service that's like 24 seven, you can reach someone on the phone and get a quick, fast, to the point response. Obviously, one of the downsides to not having a physical bank branch location is the time to actually accessing your money may be a little bit longer because of that. When you transfer funds into that savings account, it may take a few days before you can physically access it and withdraw cash should you need it. So that's definitely something to keep in mind as you're kind of weighing the options here. When it comes to actually setting up the account and the process of that, I thought it was gonna be more complicated, but it was literally so easy to do. So I, from the Nerd Wallet website, went on Discover, opened my savings account that way, transferred money from my current savings account over to the new one. Once that had cleared, I then called my current bank, I think at like 10 o'clock at night, just their customer service line and said, hey, I wanna close the savings account. They asked me a couple quick questions. Within like 24 hours after the phone call, that savings account was closed. Again, I'm not promoting Discover Bank as the be all end all. It might not be the best fit for you, but what I am saying is it could be a really valuable use of your time to just check on your current savings account if you have one. See what interest it's paying or any sort of fees that it's charging you out of there. It may be really, really beneficial for you to look at potentially using a high yield savings account. Within the last couple months that I opened it, it's already earned $10 in interest, which like isn't much, it's $10. But in comparison to the fact that I was losing money every month in my other savings account, that's a big deal for me and I know it'll pay off big in the long run. So if you have questions, let me know. I'll probably put the link to the Nerd Wallet website where you can compare the different high yield accounts below. But yeah, reach out to me with any questions and hope you have a great day. Hello, this is Caitlin editing this video and realizing I'm an idiot because I forgot to put a disclaimer. So, in order for compliance to not put me behind bars, here it is. This video is for educational purposes only and is not to be constituted as legal financial advice. Please, for the love of all things holy, consult with your own financial professional. Thank you very much. Carry on.